Welcome to Britain, Mr. President. Your visit is long overdue. Britain should have welcomed you with open arms straight after your extraordinary victory in November 2016. A few thousand lefty losers are tearing their hair out and throwing their toys out of prams. Well, who cares? Their screams and shouts are a tribute to your magnificent work in smashing up the global establishment consensus. The elites sneer at you for being populist. Well, what's wrong with appealing to the people? That's democracy. But what they really can't stand is that you won and you keep on winning. You connect directly with the people through social media, a force the dinosaur media can't control or beat, and the whole world hangs on your tweets. Every time you make a lefty liberal snowflake froth with impotent rage, I just love it. Britain should be grateful for such a strong ally as President of the United States. You believe in a strong, sovereign nation-state. Slamming the EU as a protectionist trade racket shows you understand why Britain voted leave. And if only our Prime Minister had half your backbone, we'd already be out of the EU. But sadly, Number 10 is occupied by a spineless automaton with no faith in our ability to succeed as a free country through our ingenuity and our strength. The way you dealt with NATO leaders in Brussels this week was impressive indeed. Throughout my lifetime, the US has done the heavy lifting in Europe's defence. Europeans should pay their way and contribute their fair share of the burden, just as Britain does. European leaders are used to US presidents who give a lot and ask little in return. You told them some home truths and the shock therapy will work on them, just as it did on Kim Jong-un. And I look forward to many more shots across their bows in the days ahead. As Britain moves away from the deflating balloon of Brussels and into the wider world, we must seize the chance to reconnect with old friends and allies across the globe and especially our English-speaking cousins in America and the Commonwealth. The ties of history, language and culture binding our great nations must be made even stronger. The time is now to break free from the EU's tentacles and make Britain great again!